Hello friend, welcome. In this video, we'll play recursion in Swift. Okay, so let's find a project to put our source code in. Oh, Xcode and uh, chess, that's what we used the last time. Swift UI Mac. Okay, LS and uh, open chess chess that dot echo the project file okay yeah last time we played with right swapping two variables now let's create another one to play with new file unit test yes and uh, we Recursion tests. Great. Okay. So let's get rid of that. Let's start from something um, easy. Um, test. Test. Uh, back. Okay, so this is a typical, right, classic example of recursive um, function. Recursive call, it means a function can call itself. Let's define it here. Like func, um, so factorial of um, of number n, right? Return int. Oh, let's use this one. So to make a okay, so how can we calculate the five factorial, right? Five factorial is five times. 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, right? So, so what if we know, right, the factorial of, factorial of 4, so we can do this, right, like factorial of 4, right? So how do we get factorial four? Right? We use factorial three. Like that, right? We still don't know this, but we can call factorial two and the factorial one until we know the answer. We don't need it to call to ourselves again because factorial one is just one by definition and uh, okay so oh. so we can return factorial no n times factorial n minus one right but we need to add this ending condition right if n is one we just return n or one what is, okay so let's test it um xct assert no equal Factorial 5 we know is 120, right? So we can call this one factorial fact. Let's see. Run it. Test has succeeded. It works. It's green. Okay. Uh, let's try another one. Uh, equal. 
So next one, right? Seven hundred and twenty is factorial of six, and uh, run it. Yeah, it works. Okay, now what if we don't like this ending here? How can we get rid of the label here? This is called like um, yeah, it's both external and internal. We can we can hide the uh, external one like that. So now we don't need the label here. It looks more like a normal function. Okay? Try it. Yeah, it works. Okay, now let's try another one. Test. G, C, D. Okay? Greatest common divisor. Greatest common divisor. For example, uh huh. Let's define one here. GCD parameter M and so we'll return the in right um, okay so the algorithm we'll use is like that let's give it an example so say we want to figure out the uh, GCD grade is the common divisor of 24 and uh, 15 the algorithm is We'll put the right in the next step. We'll put the divisor here. Uh, we don't call it divisor. The the second one here. Okay, second one here, and put the this guy modulo fifteen. The result we put here, so it's nine. Right. This is this is actually. the modulo operation of the previous step right so it's guaranteed smaller than this guy right that's the modulo the property of modulo operation okay so we'll keep doing this so put a 9 here then the 15 divided by 9 the remainder is 6 okay and uh, 6 now same thing 9 modulo of mod 6 is 3 okay next step 3 here so we just put this guy here now 6 mod 3 is 0 this is the answer this is the answer right three is the greatest divisor to both 24 and 15 so we'll use this algorithm to implement that okay so we turn based on that we know right if n is zero we can return just m oh return and otherwise we'll return we'll keep going right gcd m is the n n is m mod n that's it and uh, let's test this very case okay this concrete case so X C T assert equal three and G C D twenty four and fifteen. There's no there's no type oh 
there is oh okay click that yeah it works let's fail it like that okay now it means this is the answer now we can clean up the code here and remove that gcd is a famous thing so everyone knows that greatest common divisor now let's test another one make a copy of that so this will guarantee our what about this um, it, it will be a right run it hmm oh sorry about that this is 16 <laughs> I meant 16 okay what about the two what about the two prime numbers right seven and the 13 what is the greatest common divisor one right cool now let's improve this using a ternary so a ternary is like that right the condition here in our swift code then when it's true we return that otherwise we return this so this this single line is exactly same as that so we can comment out and test again wow you see it's so elegant right with the recursive call we only need a single line of code really really amazing now command u to run all the test cases to, to make sure we didn't break anything okay now let's make our commit we create a new file recursion test yes so commit um, implement it implement it gcd using uh, a recursive function um, implement gcd using okay in test okay in test bundle it has nothing to do with our app we just practice our programming skills right bundle yeah okay clean push okay check out the uh, latest code in uh, repository github repository Thank you for watching. See you next time.